most fondly uh, Mayor Fiorella LaGuardia coming down and telling us how he had got here and stopped them from tearing down all the buildings so that he could put his Queen's College here. There's no doubt that I was going to join the Army, I mean the services. The college developed programs for us to take, mostly the men, but some women took it too, involving military events. Like One was map reading, one was radio. You've heard we've had the apple orchard that used to be down at the end of the campus. A lot of couples of people would go there and sit under the tree, and, uh, and in good weather it was delightful. Well, I came to Queens College in 1950 um, from the Bronx, so I had to take a bus, two trains, and then another bus to get to campus. This was after the war, of course, so we were wearing the so-called Christian Dior look, the longest skirts, with bobby socks. That time was the time of the un-American activities, and a number of our professors were fired, and we had rallies. So that was a really important thing that happened. Most of us were not terribly politically aware until that time. The campus, when I was here, um, from 1969 to 73, it was tumultuous. Uh, that was not an easy time in the country's history. The Vietnam War was surging. There were a lot of passions about that, and the college was part of that. I was sitting in advanced calculus one day, and uh, he came over to me and asked me if I had my homework. <laughs> <laughs> great, great Which I always line. had. <laughs> <laughs> always had. <laughs> she had a car, beautiful convertible. And I remember being in her car and talking about, you know, when we graduate, we have, we're going to get married. I made our U.S. Olympic basketball team, and I tried out for the basketball team in May of 1972. Early May is also when you're supposed to be taking your final exams, so I didn't get much credit for that yet because I made the Olympic team. I didn't come back for three months. I started out uh, in Harvestra University. Then later on, I transferred to Queens College. The reason is, this is very inexpensive. You get a high education. And I remember when I graduate, my mom visited me, and uh, it just tear comes down. And then I saw a flyer on on the wall in one of my classes. It was actually a film class, I remember, and it said, "If you want to get involved and you want to make a difference." come join student government. And I looked at that and I stared at that and I said to myself, why not? It was an amazing journey that really built the foundation for me getting into politics. Most students when I was here, I would say a lot of them had part-time jobs at the very least or had families at home already that they were taking care of. A lot of them were first generation uh, in college or first generation here in New York. I was the first in my uh, family to get a college education, so that was a thrill for me. I've written over 730 articles. High school, one of my teachers had told me that, Marcos, you're a nice guy, you're never gonna, but you're, a journalist is not for you, and you'll never make it. But I'm happy to see that I proved them wrong. I stay at the dorms now. It's my first year that I've been staying there and we all share within groceries, we all cook breakfast in the morning. So it's my first year here now, I'll be there next year as well and I love it. I think my proudest moment was when I was chairman of Queens College Foundation and we were giving out awards to graduate students and we gave out rather modest amounts and uh, one of the students said I want to thank you. Now with this stipend I'll be able to work to attend graduate school full time and I said well what do you do? And she said, 
I pack groceries at Walmart's. And that, to the, today, it still chokes me up to think that a modest gift could change somebody's life so much. So I think it's imperative upon all of us to give back and to make those opportunities real. Dismiss at Servianos. We learn in order to serve. That's a model that, that Queens College has had for many, many years now. I sometimes come in off a of casino boulevard and there's a wall right there. And, you know, as you enter the campus, as you, you enter our entrance way, you see what we're about. That model has always stuck with me and I still use it to this day um, to the point that I always say it in Latin because it is, it is, so, it is so Queens College. Queens College was built on this mission that people learn so they may serve. And I have other family members who came here and became teachers. You're getting a great value for your education and to appreciate that the professors that are here, the same professors that teach at Columbia or any other private school, so understand where it came from and how it's progressing and definitely appreciate what it provides for the students. The faculty at Queens College are second to none. That's what makes it one of the best, if not the best, CUNY school. I greatly appreciated the education I got here. It not only was free, but it was also better. Years go by, generations go by, decades go by, but it's the same kids. They may speak a little different language, they may be a little different color, but the fact of the matter is we have a mission, and the mission is to provide world-class, affordable education.